Hi, you're already here? Welcome to another session of chemistry with me, Sushma. When you came in, I was trying to make myself some omelettes. I guess that will have to wait. But now that we have these onions, garlics and eggs, let's see if we can use these in any way to learn our lesson for the day. What do you think these substances have in common? All these substances contain an element called sulphur. The pungent particular smell of onions and garlic is due to their sulphur content. Rotten eggs smells like hydrogen sulphide. Did you know that your nails, my nails, my hair and your hair also contain sulphur? I am sure I have evoked interest in all of you and you are eager to know more about sulphur and its compounds. So why are we waiting? Where does sulphur exist? Sulphur is found in nature as insoluble sulphides and sulphates. Some examples are copper pyrites and copper sulphide is found in them. Its chemical formula is CUS. Iron pyrites have iron sulphide and its chemical formula is FES2. Galena has lead sulphide and its chemical formula is PBS. Cinnabar has mercuric sulphide with the chemical formula of HGS. Also zinc sulphide which has a chemical formula of ZNS. Now let us see how sulphur is extracted from its ore. There are two ways to the extraction of sulphur. One Sicilian process and two fresh process. The former is used in the case of low depth deposits close to earth's surface whereas the latter is used to extract underground deposits. Let's first learn how sulphur is extracted by the Sicilian process. In this process sulphur is extracted by liquefaction from the ore mixed with rocky material and clay. It is done in a calcironi kin. This calcironi kin is now empty. Pile powdered sulphur on the sloping floor. Leave some air space in the stacked ore. Ignite the sulphur powder. It burns with a blue flame, but notice that only a small portion burns. The rest of it melts. Melted sulphur flows over the sloping surface that you can collect through the tap. Sulphur thus obtained is not pure. It has to be purified. To purify sulphur, it is taken in large iron retorts and heated. Molten sulphur boils and the vapors are sent to a brick chamber and allowed to cool there. It condenses into yellow sulphur powder. Now let's see how the other method, the frash process works. Drill a hole in the ground. Insert a pipe into the hole to reach the sulphur deposit. Then insert a second pipe into the first one. Now insert a third pipe into the second pipe. Superheated water at 180 degrees Celsius under pressure is pumped through the outermost pipe. Sulphur melts. Compressed air under 35 atmospheric pressures is pumped into the innermost pipe. The air under pressure, water and sulphur mix up to produce foam. The pressure of air forces the foam to rise up through the middle tube. We can collect it and further purify it since it is 99.5% pure. I am sure you have understood how sulphur is extracted from its ore. Now let's learn something about sulphur itself. Mainly let's look at its allotropic forms. 